The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office investigating after a 13 year old was hit by an SUV just while walking to school. It was at the intersection of Division Street and Kings Road in the Grand Park area. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar just spoke with investigators. The two brothers were running across the street going to school when the 13 year old was hit by a car. The 12 year old did make it across the street. This is video of what that scene looked like at the intersection of Kings Road and Division Street. You see the front end damage to the silver CRV. The police say that this all happened a little bit after 830 this morning. Police say the two brothers were not in a crosswalk at the time when the one brother was hit. Right now, police say that they did interview the driver of that CRV. That person is cooperating. That woman is cooperating at this point, and they do expect to interview that person again at some point in the future. They say that they would possibly also have to re-interview the brother who was also w involved in this situation. Right now, the 13-year-old has life-threatening injuries, is being treated at a hospital right now. Police, as a part of this investigation, they're don't going to determine if speed was a factor, if the driver was distracted in all of this. But right now, there aren't any charges that are pending at this moment. But police say this is still a very active investigation. This is what Sergeant Robert Hungerford had to say about dealing with a very difficult situation like this. What was going through your mind when you got here and was seeing what you were dealing with? Yeah, it's it's uh, it hits home. I mean, it's saddest with the young, the vulnerable. Um, the older and younger pedestrians are very vulnerable, and it, it's tragic. Uh, it, it, you could just rewind time and fix it. Everybody would. It's just a sad day to see it, especially juvenile. It's injured. Again, police say this is still a very active investigation as they're trying to get to the bottom of everything that happened. But again, charges are not pending at this point for the driver involved in this crash. I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.